In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to conduct an independent means t-test using JASP. This is a data set that is built into JASP. It's the Directed Reading Activities data set. In the first column, we have each participant's ID number. In the second column, we have which group they were assigned to. We have a treatment group and a control group. In the third column, we have G, which is the code for the groups. The treatment group is coded as 0, and the control group is coded as 1. And in the last column, we have DRP, which stands for Degree of Reading Power Test. In this independent means t-test, we're going to be comparing the treatment and control groups based on their DRP scores. To conduct an independent means t-test, under t-test, select independent samples t-test. Our dependent variable is DRP, and our independent or grouping variable is group. The default settings in JASP are to conduct a student's t-test, which is what we'll be doing in this class. And the default alternative hypothesis is a two-tailed hypothesis. So in this case, I want to know if there's a difference between the treatment and control groups, so I have a two-tailed test. On the right, in our output, we have our t-test statistic with the degrees of freedom and p-value for this test. To interpret these results, I would compare this p-value to my alpha level. Unless otherwise stated, we use a 0.05 alpha level. Because the p-value is less than 0.05, I would reject the null hypothesis and conclude that in the population, there is evidence that the mean DRP scores are different for the treatment and control groups. In addition to these default statistics, uh, you'll probably want to also select location parameter, which will give you the mean difference, and confidence interval. The default is a 95% confidence level, so this is the 95% confidence interval for the mean difference. You may also want effect size. Cohen's D is the most common for an independent means to test. This is the difference in the two sample means in standard deviation units. Finally, you may also want descriptives. That will give you the sample size, mean, standard deviation, and standard error for each of the two groups. 